Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty. I sell residential homes here in the greater Toronto area. And during this video, I'm gonna update you on our real estate market. We're specifically going to talk about the prices. As an active agent, having sometimes over 50 calls with buyers or sellers every single day, the most frequent question that I'm being asked is, how much have the prices dropped? I want to share an interesting report with you from the Global News. It was just published May 26th in the afternoon and it says, despite the economic chaos caused by the coronavirus, home prices in the greater Toronto area are up slightly from this time last year. And the modest increase, this was seen in both the 905 and the 416. Now this headline doesn't really tell the whole story. As many of you know, the prices were surging upwards in the beginning portion of the year and now they've trended downwards. However, again, fortunately they are higher than they were last year. Of course, the number of sales has dropped. As we look back at the article, it says that in the 416, condo prices were up by 1.8% in the first two weeks of May compared to the same period in 2019. And detached homes, they were up by 2.6% although only 198 properties in that category have been sold. We're seeing that across all home styles, the number of transactions has dropped by somewhere like 55 to 65%. In the 905 communities like Peel and Durham, condo prices did go up by 3.4% and detached houses were up by 0.9%. Although for most of you who know the GTA quite well, there are not many condos in Peel and Durham to begin with, so I'm not sure why they're acknowledging that stat. But again, far fewer homes are being bought and sold. In the GTA, there was only 2,500 five residential properties sold in the first two weeks of May, as opposed to 3,477 in the first two weeks of February. What I'm finding in this market, with the exception of luxury homes, there are multiple offers on properties, provided that they're priced right, particularly the lower price ranges. I'm finding when you see those one bedroom condos that are listed somewhere between 500 to 550, on most instances, they're being sold with multiple offers and being sold in under 14 days. So this makes for a very interesting market and actually makes it quite advantageous for sellers because sellers are are only really exposing their properties to buyers who are genuinely interested in the home. The buyers that are going out to see properties, they're not just looking for comparison purposes, they're genuinely interested to buy. And believe me, they are just as scared as the sellers are. So they're coming with their masks, with their gloves and they're ensuring that they really don't touch anything and they're really doing everything in their power to ensure there's no chance of them potentially getting sick. Now we've gone ahead and implemented a consent form that the buyers must sign before going out to see a property where the buyers must sign that they have not traveled in the past 21 days nor have they been in contact with anyone who's traveled or has any signs of sickness. In my opinion, if anyone's considering selling their property in the next few months, they should really just list their homes now because we haven't had our typical spring market yet and for most of you, you understand that in the spring year after year we're always getting the best prices so a seller would have the advantage of putting their home on the market before all the competition lists their home as well so in essence they're able to have their home on the market that when that flurry of buyers goes out and start looking they're going to look at those homes first and again it's just great news because this weeds out a lot of those unqualified buyers which you wouldn't want in your house anyway if you've sold your home then you may have had that experience when you listed your property in the spring or the summertime and people just came for the sake of coming without any real intention of making an offer what i'm seeing in the marketplace at the end of march and beginning of april time there weren't many sales prices were down considerably however over the past few weeks surprisingly prices are up a little bit there have been more sales People are less concerned about the health risks now and they're a bit more accepting of the situation. Whereas before everyone was just a little bit frantic wondering what's gonna happen. And overall, it's just great news. Sellers have more optimism with the approach and buyers are happy in that they have more homes to choose from and they're not as concerned about going out and looking. If you enjoyed the video and you're on YouTube, then do subscribe. I post videos every couple of weeks. And if you're considering buying, selling or investing, then call me, call me, call me. My phone number is 416-671. 5218. It's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty and I will look forward to seeing you all next time. I've recently switched to a new brokerage where I'm an owner and a partner in and I'm looking to expand my team. So if you know any agents that are looking for opportunity, then as well have them call me on my phone number is 416-671-5218 and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.